So today we'll be talking about mutations. Now in this video, uh, we'll be talking about what are the different types of mutations and the effects of them. So first of all, you need to know what mutation is. Mutation is a change in DNA base sequence that is caused by mutagens. For example, you can have ionizing radiation or specific chemicals that can cause any sort of mutation. There are actually a few different types of mutations, but I'll, I'll, we'll put them into groups. So first of all, we have joint mutations. Joint mutations are those that affect only one nucleotide. And there are three particular types within point mutations, and these are substitution, insertion, and deletion. And substitution, as the name implies, is when a base uh, has been changed to another base. Insertion is when you just put in one extra nucleotide at one place. Deletion is, well, removing one of the pieces from the sequence. And we say that for insertion and deletion, uh, we actually cause what we say frame shift mutation. And what that means is that because of insertion or the deletion of a base, it will disrupt the triplet code reading, which is basically uh, the reading of the codon. So as you will know from uh, AS, the DNA sequence has, is read in three bases at one time. So we call it this, uh, this triplet code codon. And each codon codes for one particular amino acid. And we say that the genetic code is degenerate, meaning that even if we do have, let's say, substitution happening, uh, it can still code for the same amino acid. However, with insertion and deletion, because you're basically shifting the entire thing to one, the triplet codon will be read differently, and that will cause a different type of protein to be made. Made. And now we'll have a quick look at the effects of the, these different types of mutations. So there are different possibilities. Number one, mutation can be neutral or silent. And what we mean by that is that it has no effect. This could be the fact that even if there is a change in the DNA sequence, the, uh, the same amino has been coded. So this is when we say that we sort of save the situation due to the degenerate nature of the codon. Or a mutation can be beneficial although this type of situation is rather rare, where you get an enhanced functioning of the protein. In quite a lot of the cases, we say that the mutation can be damaging. And this is certainly the case uh, in cancer, it's a classic example of that. The mutation still get a protein, but it's malfunctioning. Keep in mind that it's damaging in terms of uh, the overall health of the human body. So let's say a protein has been made because of the mutation and it enhances its functioning so that the cell benefited from this enhanced protein. However, it means that it's dividing or growing uncontrollably, which for us, for the whole human body, that means cancer cells are made. Or it could be the fact that a protein made uh, didn't work quite so well and it stopped uh, doing all the sort of biochemical reactions that it's supposed to do. And there are some extra different types of uh, mutations that you, you need to be aware of or you can have a think of as well. First one is called nonsense. And what that means is that a codon, due to a particular mutation, has changed into a stop codon. And that means that the protein that you made has now uh, got a premature end, so it, it's a shorter protein than expected. So it wouldn't work. And another type is called a uh, missense mutation. That kind of is like substitution in some sense, where you get a particular amino acid, so let's say amino acid A, has been turned into amino acid B. So in this case, you got um, the change in amino acid, meaning your degenerate coding has failed in that sense. And on top of that, you can also have chromosomal uh, mutations where um, bigger sections of chromosomes uh, have been changed rather than individual or one to two bases. So for example, you can have deletion, which is, as the name implies, deleting uh, part of a chromosome, or duplication, where you got part of the chromosome doubled, version where half the chromosome has somewhat detached itself and then uh, turn itself upside down and then reattach back to the same place. And also we can have something called translocation, uh, which means that there's quite a big chunk or a big section uh, that move from one place of the chromosome to uh, another place, or changing of locations of chromosome sections. Not to be confused with translocation in plants, uh, which is something else. And there you have it. This is a summary of mutations.